It's Wednesday night, we got six games lined up for you. There's plenty of stuff to enjoy. My name is Andrea Sachinke, and you're watching the LKHL Update. We'll go to Hub Morris first, where Amor face Locomotive. The Tigers haven't beat Loco at this ring since 2014. Let's see if they can change it tonight as we go to Platinum Arena for the action. There's no scoring in the first, so we'll pick it up from the second. Amor in a power play. Yaroslav Kobarov puts the puck on net from the point. It's stopped, but Bogdan Potekin buries the rebound and home team goes up 1-0. Needless to the period, they double their lead. Dmitry Klopov gets the puck in the slot and scores his second of the season. Stanislav Katsuba gets his first point of the season on the play and Amor led 2-0. But in the very next shift, Loco get a goal back. Daniel Falkov gains the zone, skates to the slot, and sees it through Yuka Metzla for his ninth. It's 2-1 up to 40 minutes of play. In the third period, Loco get four power play minutes, but they can't get anything past Metzla. Yaroslav will outshoot Amor 15-3, but it all ends with an empty net up by Alexei Bovaltsev. Yuka Metzla finishes an average career high 51 save, and Amor take it 3-1 on home ice. Head over to Nizhny Counts now, where Nefty Kimik take on Metalog Magnitogors. And Magnitogors gets on the board early in this one. Just 32 seconds in, Denis Kaziano scores his second of the year with a shot from the high slot. Four and a half minutes later, Zhigo Yeglich ties it up. Milo Samsonov has a huge chunk of this shot, but the puck still squeaks into the net. Yeglich celebrates his first goal of the year, he just joined Nefty Kimik from Torpedo. And a few minutes later, home team grabs the lead. Mitra Gortov finishes off a great passing play, while Pavel Kulikov and Alexander Brinsov pick up the assists. A little later, Captain Jan Kovars puts it past Ilya Yuzhov, but the goal is waved off the Cathedral Review. They say there was goal interference on the play. Nifty Kimik still lead 2 1 after 20. Needless to the second period, Magnitka score one that counts. Yuzhov gives up a rebound right in front of him, and Anton Shelford is joining on the spot to bury it. Well, Teddy 2 is after 40. But then the wheels fall off Magnitka's wagon in the third. Six minutes in, Mitra Gortsov takes a shot on net and the puck goes in off a Milko Limov. It counts. Nifty Kimik lead 3-2. Late in the period, Andrei Nesushov one times at home from on top of the circle to give Nifty Kimik a 4-2 lead. Then Sexton and Milko Limov with the assist. And finally, with just a few seconds remaining on the clock, Sexton scores an empty net up to seal the deal. Milko Limov scores a goal and draws two assists for three points in the final period of play, and Nifty Kimik win 5-2 on home ice. Well, now another Sibir square Sibir holds Boris for the second game of the back-to-back -back series. Sibir won 4-0 two days ago and Boris haven't won at the string for over four years already. Let's see if it changes tonight. There's a lot of scoring in this one. First goal of the game comes 42 seconds in. Jonas Anlov beats Stepan Sinekov for a one-timer and Sinekov sends it home. Less than two minutes later, they get another one. Another cross-ice pass and this time it's Andre Sigarov who finds the back of the net. Needle to the period, Tal Gajai Lailov gets a goal back for Boris as it converts on a power play. What a shot! Late in the period, Boris brings it back to square one. Anton Sakadei beats Alexei Krasikov for his second of the year. Pavel Akolsev picks up assists on both markers. But with less than a minute remaining to play in the period, Sibiu retake the lead. Andrei Yermakov steals the puck, skates to the slot, and finishes the job. That's his boss of the year already. Needle to the second period, Boris tie it up again. Nigel Doss rifles it home for his 29th goal of the season. Kevin Dalman and Lyndon Bay with the assist. Six minutes later, Baris grabbed the lead with the third power play goal of the night. Lyndon Bay gets it to go for his 12th, while Doss and Dalman pick up the assist. But everything changes in the third period. Alexander Salak replaces Alexei Krasikov in the cage. Severe goal in a power play, and Maxim Ignatovich ties it up with his first tally of the year. Later, Sibir get another man advantage. Yunus Anlov passes to Sadnikov. Sadnikov sets up Ignatovich, and Ignatovich sends it into the back of the net. Ignatovich scores his second of the game, and Sibir lead 5 4 now. And short after that, Patrick Zacherson scores another power play goal to secure the win for the home team. Sibir takes it 6 4 as he scores three power play goals in the third period. Maxim Ignatovich finishes the night with a fist fight against Konstantin Pushkarov. A 5 2 goals and a win. Great stuff for Ignatovich and Sibir. We travel to Ufa now, where the green rivalry is on tonight. Salavat Yulayev meet Agbars. 
And Kazen absolutely dominates in this one. Late in the opening period, Vladimir Kachov puts Agbas on the board with a power play marker. Five minutes into the second period, they can bet on another man advantage. Alexei Patapos was his first of the year. He just joined Agbas from Perpeto. Late in the period, Anton Glinkin races into the zone, slams on his brakes and beats Ben Scrivens to make it 3 0 Agbas after 40 minutes of play. It was for the third period, Vladimir Kachov scores his second of the game and 16th of the season. Stanislav Galif with a great assist. And finally, later regulation, Yaroslav Kosov adds insult to injury as he scores on an odd man rush. Vladimir Kachov picks up his third point of the night on the play and Salavara free to go. Emil Garipa stops 21 shots for his fourth shutout of the year and Agbas win 5 0 on the road. We're now in Helsinki, Finland, where Jokiri play host to Avangard. The Hawks get off to an awful start in this one. Just 19 seconds into the game, Peter Regin takes a shot from the point, and the puck goes in off Max and Bears and skate. Just over a minute later, Marco Antilo gains the zone, passes it in front to Ante Pilstrom, and Pilstrom scores, ending the night of Dominic Fork. He allows two goals and two shots, and Alex Schilling replaces him in net. It doesn't help Avangard, though. Middle through the second period, Oli Paola nets his fourth of the season, and that's game. Ryan Zapolsky stops 18 shots for his eighth shutout of the year, and you're free to enjoy a 3-0 win on home ice. Our last game of the day takes place in Moscow, where Red Army lays him up against Sochi. There's a ton of goals in this one as well. The red and blue get on the board less than two minutes in. Gael Pashtin takes a shot from the point and the puck goes in off Andre Svelikov. Middle to the period, and Svelikov scores his second of the game and sixth of the season as he converts on the power play. Two minutes later, Alexander Popov makes it 3 0 Red Army as he scores from the hash marks. Gunstein Baron's night is done after that and Mitchell Shaking goes in the cage. Short after that, Eric Odell throws the biscuit in the slot and Vadim Plopada puts it past Lars Jukinsen. It's 3-1 after 20. Early in the second period, Red Army convert on another man advantage. This time it's Maxim Shaluna who finds the back of the net. Midway through the frame, they get yet another power play marker. Alexei Marchenko beats Chicken 5 hole with a huge blast. In the last minute of the period, Sean Collins scores on a power play as well to bring Sochi back to within three. Late in the third period, Alexei Tsvetkov gives Sochi some hope and scores his seventh of the year with the tip on Nikita Shita's shot. But with less than two minutes remaining to play in regulation, 19-year-old rookie Nikita Makayev nets his first career KHL goal and secures the win for the Army. They take it 6-3 on home ice. And that's it for the LKHL update. Do come back tomorrow as we're going to have just one game for you on the menu. Gato Moscow will go up against Ubra. Hope to see you there. My name is Andrea Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon.